Welcome everybody, uh, it's me, Mate, and I'm going to play a visual novel for, novel for you guys. It's called Voices from the Sea. It's free to play, available on Steam, and I will leave a link in the description. I do hope you enjoy it. Um, so let's get started. Noises. I can hear nothing but noises. Okay. Never ending buzzes. Oh. Down. Okay. It's really my mind. I don't remember when I no longer had the desire to tune my channel. Whether it's at home. The Cantus! How many times do I have to tell you not to do that? Now listen, I'm telling you this for your own sake. Don't you dare talk back to me. Or at school. Hey, Cantus, have you heard the rumor? The boy in the other class went to the beach and... Come on, don't be such a bore. That's not what I have to say. Noises. No, nothing but noise after noise. It can only get louder with each passing day. Never letting me go. It's as blue as ever. Maybe I've been visiting this place more often than usual. Very few people come here. Most kids my age prefer hanging out with their friends or playing video games. On the other hand, I could sit here all day just listening to the bleeding waves. The sound of them hitting the shore. In and out. In and out. It's so mesmerizing. It's the only place where I could find solace. I don't have to hear any more noises. I don't have to tune my channel just to be part of the others. I'll just be myself. Hey! I jumped out of my seat as if a jolt was sent down my spine. Huh? What did I just hear? The sound that broke the silence. Is that someone's voice? A strange sensation. It's as though I haven't heard one in a long time. With all those noise around me lady lately. It's no wonder I felt that way. Hey! Can you hear me? Finally! Finally I got your attention! And a familiar figure stands in front of me. A girl my age. She's the source of that voice. The instant I saw her, I felt a flash of smell of Lucy. I'm not sure why. What's your name? Huh? Once again, she catches me off guard. It's a few seconds later before I could regain my composure. Cantus. Cantus? She pitted what I just said in her pair of curious eyes. With her pair of curious eyes. What a beautiful name! Whoa. Serious? Purely out of reflex. What is this girl saying? Sure, why not? She answered nonchalantly. Cantus, Cantus! The more I say it, the more I like it. Don't you think so? I don't think so. I've never had anyone say- I know, I'm sorry. I've never had anyone say that to me before. Not even my mom thinks that way. She probably came up with it when she was in the toilet. Oh, aren't you the serious type? You'd be great if Kansas could lighten up a bit. Right, aren't you the cheerful type? Too cheerful if I have to say. It'd be great if you could tone it down a bit. Upon hearing my answer, she freezes for a moment. A few seconds later, she bursts into laughter. <laughs> So funny. She's taking a backward reaction. It's not uncommon when people laugh at me. Because they brushed it off and walked away when they do. And the voice that echoes in the wind is strangely captivating. Then look away. Let me guess. Candace doesn't have many friends. It's not 
but I don't have many. I have none. So, you got a problem with that? No, not, not at all. I have to be Cactus' friend. It's perfect, isn't it? <gasps> As usual, her voice, her response is out of the ordinary. I was rendered speechless. Maris is my name. Nice meeting you, Cactus. My faithful encounter. Oh, this is my faithful encounter with her. A mysterious girl by the name. I still remember those voices. Voices from the sea. Boom! That was just the intro. Yeah. <laughs> 